Now on to question 3.2. Now in this one, we need to, for the select and display winners option, obviously that will be on that toolbar, the program must randomly select and display three winners from the list that was generated in 3.1. Mm. This is a little bit of a problem because all of our answers were just displayed in that um, display component, the rich edit. Um, we didn't actually store the answers anywhere. So for this question, I'm actually going to go back to 3.1 and just modify it a little bit so that I can store those answers also in some sort of array. And from that array, we can obviously get an idea of what the one as well. So let's go back and just change that. So on the first one, the one that we did in question 3.1, all I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to create a global array. Ah, oh, he has a big clue that we need to do that because there's a random space here which is not being filled. So obviously they're expecting us to create an array. So let's call it array winners. And we're obviously not going to know how many uh, winners there are going to be, but we know it'll be not more than 20 because obviously there are only 20 elements of the array that we're getting the, the answers from. So obviously there can't be more winners than there are entries. And then I'm going to create another counter, but this will be our winners, our win count. Let's call that. So that will tell me how many winners were in there. So that gets initialized, obviously, to zero. And then in our 3.1 code, whenever we display the winning cell phone number, not only are we going to display it, but I'm going to increase our win count because we've we found a winner. And then I'm going to display or place that winner's cell phone number into my winners array. So position our win count. Because remember it's our win count starts off being zero. So for the first winner it will increase to one and put it in position one. But then for the next winner it'll increase to two and put it into position two. And so on. So in here I'm actually going to put in the cell phone number of the winning person. So there we go. Let's just double check it is an array of string. There we go. Perfect. Now that I've recorded that, I can go back to my original form, and I know that all the answers, all the winners are in a array called array winners. So let's select and display winners. So what do they say? How do we do it? The program must ensure that the person can only be selected once as a winner. So we've got to randomly generate um, three different winners. Now the key there is that they must all be unique. Now I could just generate three random numbers, but there is a possibility that I get the same winner twice or even three times. So we must avoid that situation. Um, so it must be displayed like this. Okay. So the display is not the issue. It's just getting the numbers of the winners. Basically, what I'm going to do is I know that there is our win count winners, whatever that amount would be. Say, for example, there are 10 winners. That'll be the value of our win count. I need to find three random numbers from one to our win count, and they must be unique. So I'm just going to, there are lots of ways of doing this. Some people might do an array and generate an array of different numbers. I'm just going to create three variables called 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. There's probably a longer and tedious way of doing it, but I know it will work. Okay, and the logic will be sound, I think. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So those are going to be the winner's numbers, and then I need variables to display. No, actually I don't. I can just display that. So if I find a number, so if there are 10 winners, for example, in our win count, this number, when I win one, I want it to be a random number between 1 and 10. Say, so for example, it's 7, then I'm going to get the 7th position in the array and display that as the one winner, as the first winner. And I'll do the same for win 2 and win 3, obviously it's with different numbers. So we have obviously have to do some sort of random number manipulation. So obviously we need some sort of randomize randomize so we've got some some randomize okay then we're going to use some sort of way of working out now we need three unique numbers now the first tip i can give you is the first winner will always be unique because we haven't got any other numbers yet so i'm going to actually just set win one is going to equal to random now i'll show sure there's a random range option and that can be any one from one to my r one count because if there are 10 winners, it can be any from 1 to 10. So that's my random range. And that's already unique because there's no other winner in 1, 2, or 1, 3. So I know that it's unique straight away. But now win 2 is a little bit more tricky. I actually can't just do that again for win 2 because it could generate the same number. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat doing this. Win 2 is exactly the same code as this. I'm going to repeat doing random numbers for win 2 until win 2 
is not equal to win one. So the moment they are equal, it's going to keep repeating this. And the moment they are different, until the, they are not equal to each other, repeat until this is not equal to this, then it will stop. When they're not equal, it will stop. Then I know that win one and win two will not be the same number. So this could be a seven, this could be a five. So then the seventh position in the array will be the winner, and the fifth position will be the second winner. And then I can do something very similar. Actually, I can even just copy this. I'm going to copy it and say, well, win three is exactly the same as well. And I must repeat doing this until win three is not equal to win one, but also, and at the same time, now I'll just double check if it's and or or, we'll talk about it now, win three must also not equal to win two. So at the same time, they must not equal to win one or win two, because if it is not equal to one of them, then then it's obviously incorrect, then obviously it is equal to 1. So we want AND, we want both conditions to be true. It must not equal to win 1, and at the same time, must not be the same as win 2. And in that way, we'll get three different random numbers. It'll keep going until it finds those three random numbers. And then all we're going to do is display it like this. List of winners over there. So we're going to clear our rich edit control. We're going to display dot lines dot add the list of winners and then we're going to in a very tedious way we're going to display those three winners. Now if it's just three winners then I can do it this way. If it was like ten winners then I would have probably generated random numbers into an array and then it would have been a lot easier to display it in an array but it's quite simple I'm just going to leave it like this. So winner Hash one will obviously be the first winner. Space, then the colon, then a space. And then we're going to add the array winners. But at position, win one, because that is a random number. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again and again. But only the second time, I'm saying a winner two and winner three are going to be gotten from the random numbers we generated from win 2 and win 3 and I think that should work I hope that works it's quite simple not a lot of code actually but it's only 10 marks so hopefully it works let's have a look so processes extract possible winners obviously we need to do that first and then we need to select and display winners and as you can see those numbers are all unique now if I run it again still unique Still unique, so it seems like it's working. Obviously, I would have to do a bit more testing, but that looks like they're all unique. Okay, we've got time. Let's just do the last question. Um, it's only seven marks, so it's quite easy. Save the winners option in the winners option button. That's obviously, if I go to the code, that's that button over there. Save winners in this area. We need to do what? We need to write the heading and the cell phone numbers of the three winners, just like it was in the first question, to a text file same format as text file. Does it tell me what the name of the text file should be? I don't think it specifies here. When it's to a text file in the same format. So we are going to now create a text file. Now remember text file creation is a little bit different to um, reading from a text file. So let's go and do it. The first step that we need to do is obviously we need the same as in a normal text file handling. We need to create our variables which we're going to create a text file variable. So I'll call it F of type text file. And um, there are lots of ways of doing it. I could have probably do ex probably much the same code or stored that into an array. I'm actually just going to take the stuff that's in that rich edit and just display it into the text file. So I'm going to create a R variable for my looping through the rich edit display. If you remember correctly, it looks exactly the same. So I'm just taking the stuff that's in the rich edit and just displaying it in the winners file. So let's do that. Because obviously you cannot save the winners until you've run who the winners are. So let's do that. So I'm going to go, obviously we're going to assign the text file, assign file. We're going to assign file F to a name of the text file. Now they didn't actually specify one, so I'm just going to call it winners.txt. Hopefully they're happy with that. 
Okay, so now I've signed my text file. Now, in normal text file handling, if I was going to read from it, I would reset it. But now I'm creating a file. Now, I can either append a file, which means I add onto a file that already exists, or I can rewrite it from scratch. In this case, I want to rewrite it from scratch. So I say rewrite f. Okay, and then I'm going to write the values in. So I'm going to have a for loop now for r equals 1, 2. Now, how many elements? is in that rich edit. Now let's just think about it. A rich edit works very similar to like your list boxes or your radio buttons. The first element is actually a zero. So we're actually not starting at one, we're starting at position zero. And the amount of lines that are in that rich edit, well we're going to use that dot lines. I hope there's a count. Yes, there is a count. But if there are four lines, the first line will be a zero, second line a one, third line a two, and the fourth line will be a three. So we're actually going to do count minus 1 because we start at 0. So I'm going to go for r for equals 1 to the count of the rich edit minus 1 and all I'm going to do is take each element in that rich edit and write it to the text file. So write line we can write line to f and what do we want to write in f? We're going to write down the rich edit display let's write it down display dot lines square bracket r so take whatever's at position r in the rich edit and display it and write it to the text file once it's finished the for loop then the only thing that's left to be done is to close the file so close while left yeah i think that's okay i know it's a lot not a lot of code but let's hope it works no error so we process the exact possible winners we get the possible winners. There are our winners. And then we're going to save the winners. I'm going, please work, please work, please work. Nothing's happening. We, it would probably be a good idea to have some sort of thing pop up saying winners saved. Let's go test to see if it worked. Let's go to wherever I saved it. There's my file. There is the question. Oh, well, there is a text file created. That's a good sign already. I open it up. Hmm. Look at that exactly the same so that's quite fancy so we are done with this question we're done with the paper um, as I said it's quite easy and you can do it with whatever way you find there are lots of ways to have done this question um, you could have used many arrays in a lot of the parts of it but it's up to you it's because the answers are quite small it's possible just to use individual variables hope this has been informative for you